Hey everybody, it's Derek. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday Blocks. And uh, why don't we go ahead and give this nether thing another shot. I do apologize for last episode, but there was just no way I could have put up that original video. So let me go ahead and uh, give you guys an idea of what's going on here. So up there, that's basically the ceiling of the nether. So I don't know how I spawned. You guys can see here, 113. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. But uh, I wasn't pleased about it, and it made for a really, really poor video. So what I ended up doing after I calmed down is I, uh, I kind of dug down here, found an opening, and kind of looked around for a while. And what I found, as I mentioned in the last video, is I eventually found another fortress. Am I going the right way? Oh, uh, yes. I believe so. Yeah, here we go. Uh, the Nether Fortress is actually a pretty good distance away. I think I, it was around 500 blocks away. Hmm. Guys, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Um, I was actually attempting to record uh, full HD and uh, it didn't work out too well. My frame rate was, was dropping there, so if you guys see a drop in frame rate, um, that's why I was trying to record full HD. Ah, down here. And uh, so I went back to my normal. It's a little less than 720p. Hopefully you guys can deal with it. You have been all along. I think I'd rather have a slightly lower resolution at 30 frames per second and then deal with uh, something that's 720p at like, I was getting like 22 frames per second or something like that. So I'd rather a smoother video. I don't know about you guys. So anyway, one of the things that I talked about while we're walking over to this thing, uh, one of the things I talked about in the uh, the lost recording is that we're getting a new boss uh, of my department in work. And uh, we're all kind of a little nervous because if you guys didn't know, I work in IT. Um, this guy has a, uh, a history of basically going into into his job position and completely changing things and I don't know, modernizing things and making budget cuts and stuff like that. So we you know we found his his profile on LinkedIn. Where the hell am I going now? Down here. Did you guys see that little stutter? It happens right here every time I walk over it. Maybe not every time. But anyway, yeah, so this guy has a history of, of changing things. And and there's another fortress. Wow. Um, so yeah, so we're we're not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing because yeah, there is a lot that needs to be changed in our uh, in our department, but we're not necessarily sure whether that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. All right, let's go ahead and, and get into the Nether Fortress here. Uh, I should tell you guys this is actually the first time I've been in, into one of these things. So I'm not 100% sure what to expect. What I'm hoping for, though, is to find some nether wart. I should, I should also note that I'm going to start recording these episodes a little bit different. Oh, don't even tell me. This is a completely broken one. Uh, I'm going to start recording these episodes a lot differently. Okay, looks like there's part of it up there, too. Um... I'm not going to just stop episodes at 15 minutes anymore because I'm tired of waiting for YouTube to raise my limit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to record and uh, I'll make some sort of outro uh, and then just cut off the episodes at 15 minutes. So hopefully that'll t make, make for more entertaining video and uh, I won't feel as constrained by what I can do. I just don't want to run into some blaze here. Okay. Anything, anything. I'm not gonna lie, that mushroom scared me. Nothing so far. I hear some zombie pigmen. I just hope I'm gonna be able to get out of here after, after I'm done. 
Oh, come on, really? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, that was a dead end. Okay, let's try this way. Oh, man, I really hope there's something here. And it's not like the rest of the nether and completely empty. I really wasn't lying when I said most of the nether was completely empty. Uh, you guys probably saw on the way here, there wasn't a whole lot going on. I should have brought more torches with me. Okay. Well, that's that. It's a broken fortress. I hope there's something here. Gives me an opportunity to go back to my story. Um, there's a lot of changes that needs need to be made in my department. For an IT department, we are so, so behind the times. Uh, I've only been there for about a year now. And God, man, we are the, our company is so far behind the times. Uh, I've wanted to make a lot of changes myself. But of course, as someone just coming into the company, in my position, I have absolutely zero power. There's a zombie pig man. Oh, God, I thought I saw that. Damn it. I should have known better. I thought I saw a gap there. Damn. Okay, let's see if we can get over there. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, I, I saw a... Uh, uh, so I'm getting my stories mixed up now. Um, there were a lot of changes that I really wanted to make, but someone in my position, I'm kind of like the lowest position tech support, um, I really had no say in what went on. <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, yes. Give it to me now. Is there more in there? Oh my god. Yes. Nether wart obtained. Perfect. You know, what is what is interesting stuff only happen when I'm telling a story? More. I thought there was only one. Oh, okay. That, oh, and I hear Blaze. Now, the question is, should I run this nether wart back to my base and then come back and try and get a blaze rod? Or should I just go for it? Mm. Maybe I'll take a quick peek. Well, there's the blaze. There's blaze there, too. Was oh, he tracking me? Okay, here we go, guys. Okay, come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on, where are you? Give me a blaze rod. Blaze rod! I'm out of here. Wow, I cannot believe how well that went. That's Those are the two things that I came here to get, and I got them. That is fantastic. Guys, I am so happy right now. After how much this nether pissed me off, I am so happy right now. We got the we got the nether wart. We got the blaze rod. We can go back to the portal and set up a, uh, a nether wart farm. And we can start making some potions. I have never made a potion in this game. As I said, I've never been to a, a uh, nether fortress before. Well, I guess that's right up there. Wow. Oh, Jesus. This will show you how dark my monitor was before. I didn't notice all of that up there. This is actually a pretty large fortress. That's pretty impressive looking, actually. Wow. Cool. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Careful not to fall any pits or anything on the way back. But you guys, you guys notice just like how quiet it is? There's no ghasts or anything. There's barely any zombie pigmen. This is what I was talking about, about it just being open uh, and kind of barren. Notice there's hardly any glowstone compared to most places. I mean, it's way up there. There's a little bit there, which I think I harvested some of. I got enough. I got basically got a stack of glowstone, which I'm going to use to redecorate uh, my base. Okay, where am I going now? Okay, down here. 
I would be lost without these torches. Because, as I've mentioned before, I have a terrible sense of direction in this game, even though my sense of direction in real life is actually pretty good. Alright, okay, cobblestone stairs. Pigman, get out of my way. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Actually, I guess while I'm here, I should harvest some of this soul sand so I can make my nether wart farm. Just don't do anything dumb like fall off a cliff. I don't want to have to try and get back to uh, my stuff before all this nether wart goes away. How much is that? 19? Let's get a little bit more. God, oh man, I'm so excited right now, guys. I, I can't even I can't even tell you. Um, how much is that? 24? Well, I'm going to get a little bit more. I know I'm not going to need more, but better safe than sorry. Although I guess I can always come back and get more, and or go anywhere in the nether and get more. I don't know why I'm thinking it's some kind of rare resource. And yes, guys, I still need a new keyboard, as you can hear my space bar. I apologize for that. It's probably the next purchase I'm going to make. I do have a little bit of extra money in the bank now, so I plan on getting myself a new keyboard so you guys don't have to listen to this noisy-ass space bar anymore. All right, let's, uh, let's get on back. I'm not even going to bother um, setting up another work farm right now. That's probably something I'll do off camera. Um, I'll probably make myself a little base, which is the one good thing about where I spawned is that uh, it's so high up, it's kind of an enclosed cave, so I can just set up a little nether, uh, a little nether base right there. There's the portal. Show you guys. See, it's kind of this little enclosed area, so I could very easily set up a base right here. And it'll be great. Hmm, I should seal that off, but... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do this off camera too, but I just want to make sure there's nothing directly ab or above me here. The only thing that's gonna be directly above me here is gonna be uh, the ceiling. And uh, there, I'll show you guys how close to the ceiling I actually spawned here. I said, oh, I must be underground. Let me dig up. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's how close to the ceiling I am. There's the bedrock ceiling. All right, enough rambling. Let's get back through here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry if I am rambling, but I uh, I am really excited here that we that easily got Nether Wart and a Blaze Rod. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff upstairs. I'm not gonna keep it down here. Back upstairs. As I mentioned, I think I'm gonna eventually do this whole thing in sandstone. Uh, I'm keeping the blue carpeting down here for now. I might change that. Also, do you guys have any ideas for how to decorate my, my nether portal room? I said last episode that I was thinking about black wool on the floor, but now I was also thinking about obsidian on the floor. I don't know whether or not that would look good. That would also be a hell of a lot of work. Okay, nighttime. So what I intend on doing with the glowstone is uh, putting some putting kind of a row in the ceiling here, which is going to be a little difficult because of the weird unevenness uh, of this room. But I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just uh, count o count over this way and then put one dead in the middle. And you know, you know what? That's probably a good idea. It's probably the best thing to do. Uh, nighttime. I'm going to put these in my valuables chest. Yes, as you guys can see, I've done a little bit more mining. Uh, grab some more stuff, take a quick sleep here. And then I want to start showing you guys some of the oddities that have popped up in this world. <laughs> 